Hello, this is a tutorial for Layout version 0.091. I'm going to demonstrate the basics of the interface. So here we have, I made a booklet before, so I'm going to import some images into this booklet. Let's select one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight images. Uh, booklets have two different kinds of pages, left-hand pages and right-hand pages, and you can specify per page type how things get imported. So for left hand, I'm going to say put them on the left side and right hand pages, put them on the right hand side and then center. If images are too big, you can scale them down, or if they're too small for the, the area you're importing to, you can scale them up. I'm going to make the DPI, let's see, 200 and one per page. Let's import and see what happens. And so this was, this would be the cover of the booklet. Uh, you see the the page through the images on the right hand side. If you go to the next spread, uh, the images, the left hand it's aligned on the left and the right hand it's aligned on the right. Uh, these are all the the spreads that you would see as if you were holding the book in your own hands. You can also view as they appear in uh, printer spreads, so the things that you would take to the copy store or the printer. You'd print these out and then stack them up and then staple them and fold them and there you have your booklet. Well, let's go back to the viewing single pages at a time. Uh, let's see. For manipulating objects on the page, there are various ways to do it. One, uh, the, this sort of blue outline, these are areas to shift or to scale and shear and rotate. So like in this region, inside the image toward the top, you can scale. Uh, images by default keep their their aspect ratio. Uh, you can sh hold down shift if you want to not keep the aspect ratio. Then you can also shear if you click just outside the image. And it, in these round parts, you can rotate by clicking and dragging those things. If you don't like what you've done, then you can press shift N, and that'll remove any transportation of the object you're looking at. You can also hold down control and then click down and then drag somewhere and that will scale the image magically. And if you hold down shift and control and click somewhere and drag back and forth, that'll rotate around wherever it is you've clicked down on. Uh, also, if you have a recent Linux system, you can use two mice, mice at the same time. Uh, who needs a fancy iPad when you've got two mice plugged into your machine? So you can click down at one point and then click on another point and you can move things around and scale them and rotate them. All that fancy jazz. You can also simulate that uh, with anchor points. So if you click down and then without dragging release, that'll create this anchor there. And then you click somewhere else, then you can move around like that. You can click down one other point and then make another anchor point. And now where you click, you can, sh you can shear your objects and those two initial anchor points will be the same. Then if you don't like what you've done again, shift and we'll get rid of all your, all your uh, transformations. You can also transform the entire viewport. So if you hold down the right button and press control and then click down, you can zoom uh, and it'll zoom around where you click down on, or you can rotate the entire viewport with shift and control and then uh, do that. And you can, if you have a net imposition, uh, sometimes that's useful to shift around your view to get it so it's more or less right side up. And if you print hit uh, O, that'll remove any transportation of the viewport, and then space centers. Uh, up in the corner here, there's a list of things that you can or can see or not see in your, your current view. So if you have different documents, you can select other documents or the none document if you want to just view the scratch, scratch space. So I can take this image off the page and then stick it in limbo. Uh, and now if I go and view none, you still see the scratch space, just not the document. Uh, now I can go to some other page and then take it off of the limbo space and then plop it onto the different page. Uh, there's also paper groups. You can have any number of paper, paper groups as well as any number of scratch spaces and just mix and match to suit your purposes. For instance, if you have a, a reader spread that you want to just proof for some reason, then you can, uh, with the paper interface, you can uh, define a new paper and then uh, shift it around and move this page just kind of so it's over your over what you want to look at. And so now when you go and print or export, it'll show. Uh, this will be how it will print. You'll be able to preview all this stuff on a piece of paper.
anyway, that's it. And see you next time.